Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jamie and this is SecJ. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the iDRAC with the latest version of Java. This also works on Windows 10 and 11, as well as previous versions of Windows. So let's get started. So here I am with the Windows 11 desktop. Because this is a fresh install of Windows, I'm now going to download Java. And I'm going to do this by opening up Edge and searching Java. And I'll go to the download Java for Windows link. Then I'll accept the cookies. Then I'll download the Windows Online. I'm going to let it download. And I'm going to open the file. Click yes to the user account control prompt. Then I'm going to close Edge. Now this is the install screen for Java. I'm going to install Java. Now once Java is installed, we are going to launch Notepad as administrator. So I'm going to go to the start menu and I see Notepad is already pinned to the start menu. If not, if you click on search and type in Notepad. And on the right, there will be an option to run as administrator. Then I'll click yes to the user account control prompt. Then I'm going to go to file and then open. Once the open dialog pops up, I'm going to go to this PC. Then I'll go down to the C drive. We then go into the program files x86 folder. Depending on the version of Java that's currently installed, you might see it in the program files or the program files x86 folder. We then go into the Java folder and whatever version you have installed. Then we're going to change the file from text documents to all files. I'm going to the lib folder and then the security folder. Then we're going to find a file called java.security and click on open. I want to maximize this. Now this is the config file for the security and we need to find the RC4 in the disabled algorithms list. So now I'll go to edit and find. And in the find text box, we're going to put in RC4, find next. And as we see, the jdk.tls.disabled algorithms list is the RC4. We're now going to delete RC4 and delete again. So it's removed from that list. We're then going to click on file and click on save. We're now going to configure Java and add it to the site exceptions list. I'm going to click on the start menu and type in configure Java. And in the security tab and the exception site list, we're going to edit the site list. Now, depending on the IP address of your iDRAC or the host name of your iDRAC, you need to put it here. So I'm going to click on add and because the iDRAC uses the HTTPS secure protocol we're going to type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address or host name of your iDRAC. So my iDRAC's on 2.2 .2. then we'll click on OK and OK again. Now I'm going to reopen Edge then I'm going to go to the iDRAC address. I'm going to click on advanced and continue. Then I'm going to log into the iDRAC and hopefully when I click on remote console preview it gives me a JNLP file that I will keep. If I open that file now it will open up Java. It's going to download the applications and I'll click on continue. I just want to verify. Then I'm going to do not show this again for the app from the publisher above. Now the connection to the IP address is entrusted. And the certificate has expired. I'm going to click on run anyway. And there we go. We have the iDRAC console on Windows 11 and the latest version of Java. 
So thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe, and hopefully these tutorials will help you in some point or another, and if you've got any suggestions for more tutorials like this, please leave a comment in the video description. My name is Jamie, and you've been watching Takaji.